Explain to me again why we have to sneak through the sewers. I mean seriously. This place stinks, and we never know what's waiting for us round the next corner. Well, I have two reasons, brother. Above ground, the Oracle has watchers everywhere. But for some reason, they stay away from the sewers. My guess is they can't report back from down here. Secondly, and most importantly, this is where the treasure is hidden. I just checked the map. I'm pretty sure this is the spot marked with a big X. I'm sure you're right, sis. I have no doubt I'll be a lot wealthier when I leave this place. Still, I think the Oracle is the least of our problems. We've passed that same body three times now. And every time you try a different path, we wind up at a dead end. Trust me, brother. I'm convinced now that this is the right place. Have I ever let you down? <laughs> Frequently. Well, true, but it was never intentional. That's very comforting. Don't be like that. You know I always have your best interests at heart. That's why I brought you along. A lot of people would have gone alone so they could keep it all to themselves. Oh, you know I'm grateful, sis. You've always looked after your little brother. Don't mind my complaints. It's probably just a spooky atmosphere down here getting to me. Apology accepted, brother. Tell you what. Let's rest here before we search the area for hidden compartments. Great idea, sis. By the way, you never told me how you got mixed up with the Oracle. And why is she chasing after you? Well, it's complicated. I'm not going anywhere? Well, alright. I guess I'd have to tell you sometime. So, it might as well be now. A couple of days ago I was chatting that vendor you spoke so highly of in Paxler Markets. I'm glad you took my advice. He has all kinds of unusual items for sale. Exactly. Anyhow, he mentioned that an eccentric uncle of his had recently died and left him with a lot of personal effects. He was in a hurry to get rid of them because he unexpectedly had to leave Paxler. One of the items was an old chest he said he hadn't had time to search through it, and he was selling it, and whatever was inside, for 500 gold. Go on. Well, I wasn't really interested, but I had a quick look inside and noticed what looked like a treasure map. Obviously the vendor hadn't seen it, or he would have removed it. I quickly bought the chest, and when I was safely home, I examined the map. So that's how you got the map. Quite a lucky find. Well, yes, and no. I think the vendor must have been mixed up in some kind of obsidian plot. As he was being closely watched by the Oracle, suddenly, because the vendor handed me a chest, I was being followed everywhere. Well, yeah, that's a nuisance, but not really a threat. Why are you so concerned about the Oracle? Well, being closely followed by the Oracle isn't really compatible with my line of work. Oh, I thought you were a gardener. I believe what I actually told you was that I plant things. You never asked me what I planted, and I never elaborated. Oh, okay, sis. That's all very mysterious. What do you plant? Bodies, brother. I plant bodies. You see, I'm an assassin, and I work for the highest bidder. Oh. Sorry to dump it on you like this, but I think it's only right that you know, especially considering... Considering what? Considering that I was hired to kill you. Sorry, brother. Someone has paid me a great deal of gold to plant you. I only invited you along so I could do so in an out-of-the-way location. But don't worry, it's not personal. Thank you for the confession. Arrest her. Huh. 
<laughs> you have thin depths, little brother. Believe it or not, I'm proud of you. You're just like me. Thanks, Seth. I'll always remember you fondly. As you said, it's not personal. Thank you, Jeremy. Your assistance is appreciated, and you will be amply rewarded. It seems your idea of planting a fake map and taking out a contract on yourself has paid off. Guards, take her away. I'm really going to miss her. Can you deposit the reward in my account in vengeance, please? I'm buying some property there. That went well, boss. Not. At least nothing else can go wrong now. <laughs> <laughs>